Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to the channel. I hope that you are all having an amazing day. So for today's video, I will be showing you how to increase the quality of the video of your online streams, your online meetings, your Zoom calls, or your, you know, streaming cam when you're playing games and stuff like that. We have two laptops right here. This old Asus laptop, which is around three to five years old now. And we also have this Microsoft Surface Pro, which is around almost a year old now. I will now show you the difference between how normal people tend to do their streams. And then I will show you the results that you can achieve after following the tips that I'm about to give you. All right, guys, so this is the before footage for the Asus laptop. This is what it looks like and this is what it sounds like. All right, guys, so this is the final footage for the Asus laptop. As you can see right now, it looks pretty good compared to how it was earlier. Unfortunately, I cannot screen record using this laptop because like this is a five year old laptop and all the processing that's happening does not allow me to screen record everything. So I'm just showing it to you like this. The video is coming from this cell phone and the audio is coming from this microphone. If you're just talking to the camera and having meetings, this is actually pretty good compared to how it was earlier. It's a little bit choppy, but like eh, we're not really moving much when we're talking. So that's pretty good. All right, guys. So this is the before footage of the Microsoft Surface Pro. So far, we don't really need to upgrade the camera or anything like that. I think we just need a few more adjustments so that we can make it sound better and look better overall. All right, guys. So this is what the after video Video looks like for the Microsoft Surface Pro so as you can see right now it looks a whole lot better and it sounds a whole lot better compared to how it was earlier feel free to follow along so that you might be able to get the same amount of quality that I'm getting right now or maybe even better so uh, yeah good luck this laptop right here which is the five-year-old Asus has a huge difference when it came between the uh, before and the after footage especially with the video quality and audio quality but with this laptop right here, which is the Microsoft Surface Pro, since it's newer compared to this old Asus laptop, it did not need a whole lot of tweaking, actually. I'm going to show you right now the few things that I did to make the footage look better. So uh, let's go with tip number one. So the first thing that I'm going to teach you guys is to try and improve the webcam's angle. Because like that changes a whole lot, especially when it comes to video. When streaming or having Zoom meetings, what we usually use is our default laptop's webcam. So as you can see, right here both of these laptops are on the table when I am sitting in front of them this is what it looks like let me move it here so that you can see it clearly so as you can see from this angle the lens of this laptop is looking upwards towards me which gives me this angle right here it's like I am looking down on the audience or to whoever I'm speaking to so the best way to fix that is to put something under your laptop be it boxes or books or whatever you can think of to put under so in this case we're going to get this box right here and then we're going to put it right under this laptop and then this is what it looks like right now so as you can see it looks a whole lot better compared to how it looked earlier before it looked like I was looking down on you and right now it looks like we're talking face to face which is what we want especially when we're having these meetings so when it comes to the other laptop right here let me switch it up so as you saw from the video footage earlier, it does not look good at all. So what we can do to actually increase the quality of our video is to actually use an external webcam. So for my case, since I can't really buy external webcams these days, we have these programs on our computer and on our phones that can make this act as an external webcam. That is what I did to get the results that we had earlier. I used this one. This is a Galaxy J2, which is around four years old already. So as you saw from the video this looks a whole lot better connected to this laptop instead of using the default one that we have right here you can use whatever phone you have it also works on iPhones I'll just link the video for the tutorial that I made up here in case you want to like increase the quality of your webcam by using an external phone so there it is all right guys so now that we have our webcam set what we're going to do is to make the quality look even better so since webcams do not have lenses that are as good as dslrs what we're going to do to help with that is to use lighting what we have right here is a lamp almost everybody has lamps right as you can see from this video right here my face looks pretty bright and i'm actually having a hard time looking at the laptop because like this lamp right here is beaming down on my face which is normally what people have on their setup you do not want that because like it will damage your eyes so in order to help with that what we're going to do is we're going to adjust the lighting that we have um we're going to bounce it off the wall to help with diffusing 
the light that's going to hit our face so this is what it looks like right now so as you can see from my footage it looks a whole lot better it looks a whole lot more natural compared to how it looked earlier we can help bounce it off even more by getting something white like a styrofoam or something this is what it looks like without the styrofoam and this is what it looks like with the styrofoam so as you can see that little difference is actually a huge help when making videos so yeah for budget friendly reasons this is great so after we have finally talked about the webcam and lighting what we're going to do next is we're going to focus on our background because like as you can see the background looks a little bit messy we have alcohol right here bags of the drone we have my gloves right there everything on top is messy we need to clean that off so it won't give kind of like a distraction to everyone that's viewing your videos uh, it also makes everything looks cleaner and better overall let's go and clean it up I forgot to tell you this but like I have this lamp in the back that's also helping with separating me from the background so uh yeah that's supposed to be part of tip number two which is lighting so like anyways after cleaning up the background as you can see we do not have distracting things here and there when making your videos when having your online meetings and stuff it looks more presentable compared to how it looked earlier so there's that so um, when you're in a meeting, you gotta make sure that your audio sounds good. Your voice can be heard throughout the whole meeting so that everyone can understand what you're trying to say, what you're trying to convey. Yeah, it just makes everything a whole lot easier. It seems like audio is kind of like half the viewing experience. So there's that. Most laptops have cheap built-in microphones, which do not sound good at all. Remember when we listen to this right here? I mean, the audio does not sound good. Newer laptops like this one right here actually sound a whole lot better. Sometimes it also focuses on everything around the laptop. Sometimes your electric fan, uh, dogs barking and stuff like that. You want the audio to only be focused on you, which is why for my videos, I usually use this lav mic right here. This lav mic is only around 200 pesos or around $4. It's very cheap. So if you do not have money to actually buy new microphones, what you can do is you can get your headphones for your phones and then just plug it in straight to your laptop, place the microphone in the same area where this lav mic is placed at, and then you're good to go. All right guys, so so far you are all set. Keep practicing, I mean, just try different angles of lighting, try to move your laptop around, try out different angles of your room, or maybe switch to another room if you like. I mean, there are a lot of things to actually help improve your streams, your videos. Just experiment over and over again, and when you're ready to take it to the next level, that's when you can start and try to invest in more expensive gear like I did. I mean, as you can see right now, this camera looks a whole lot better compared to the laptop and the phone that I use. So especially if you're trying to make money out of it, you have to invest on great quality gear because like it helps in the long run and better, easier. But like if you do not have the budget yet or like you're just doing this for simple meetings, just using your phone is enough, correct lighting, yeah this is pretty much just a run and gun type of video so uh yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one as always if you have any questions comment down below and i will try to answer them if you have any suggestions comment them down below too and uh yeah thank you guys for watching once again see you guys in the next one as always don't hate appreciate bye bye